What's going on guys, it's Spurky, and today we are doing another edit tutorial. This time we're doing it on effects, just the basic ones though, nothing too advanced. So to start, I have a clip here, already synced up with a bit of velocity, so it just looks like this. Now, normally I would add maybe some shake or some pumps, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to add effects that I might normally use in my edits. So I'm going to show you five. For this, you'll need Sapphire plugins and BCC plugins. So the first one is Lens Blur. Now, you can use any type of blur you want, but me and many other editors prefer to use lens blur because it's a more natural looking blur. So I will show you what settings to make if you choose to use them. I'm gonna make the gamma 200 and iris scale. That's really the only setting that you have to mess with. It's just how blurry your clip is. So, I like to have mine around 10 to 15, so I'm going to do 10. And then I'll animate it to the end of my clip to 0. And I will make it fast. And this clip at the end is exactly 1 second long. You can animate it shorter than that if you want, but for this video's sake, I'm just going to make it 1 second. So, it's just a simple little blur effect. The next effect I'm going to show you is exposure. Now, since Vegas actually comes with an exposure effect, it's called Levels. I'm just going to use that. So, the only thing that I mess with is the input end. If I make it go down, it adds a bit of a lighting effect which is called exposure. So I normally have this at about 0.8. You can adjust this how you want. And all I do is just animate it back up to one. I don't fast fade it or anything. I keep it linear. Also, another thing. Obviously you can combine the effects so I could add lens blur with levels and it would look better. I will also use this concept with the other effects I'll add. Next effect, we're going to use Sapphire Glow. And I will make the preset and you can copy my settings if you want. I'm going to make the width pretty large. Um, I like to keep it at the max or like almost the max, so I'll do 0.2 for the threshold. I also like to have that at 0.2. And the brightness you can change that however you want I'm gonna keep mine at 2 animate it to 0 and I'll fast fade it and I'll also show you what all the effects look like another thing I should mention the order of your effects it's primarily up to you as you can see, each effect in a different order looks a different way. So you can adjust that and you can see what looks best for you. But I personally like to have levels on blur and glow in front of blur, but that's just me. The fourth effect is S rays. Now you can use rays, you can use edge rays, you can use rays from a separate plugin but I prefer S-Rays. So all I do is make the rays length 0.4 and I animate the brightness. Put that at zero and make it a fast fade. And the final effect I'm going to show you is Time Warp RGB. There are a lot of RGB effects that you can use. You can also use Warp Chroma if you have universe plugins, you can use where is it? You can use chromatic aberration, which is 
a really good effect. I use this all the time. But I'm going to use Time Warp just because it's a very simple effect. It literally has four settings. So all I do is animate red shift and the blue shift. And I set it to zero. That's it. And it just makes a nice RGB effect on your cells. And if I were to combine all of these effects, pre-render, this is what it would look like. So yeah, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions about other effects, you can let me know. And I'll be happy to share what I know about it. Alright, thanks for watching. See ya.